Hello, and welcome to the first day of my Day of PVM series. This is basically going to be a series that coincides with my Iron Man Road to Comp series, and uh, sets aside at least one day every single week to just focus on PVMing between Slayer, bossing, whatever it may be, uh, and make sure that I can keep my supplies up aside from, you know, the normal skilling activities that I take care of in my other series. Uh, so to start off, I'm going to show off what gear I do have. Uh, currently I'm wearing full War Priest of Zamorak. Uh, I have uh, Barrow's Gloves. Um, I've completed Branches of Darkmare, so I have Blisterwood uh, Polearm and the Staff. I have a Charming Imp here, uh, an Explorer's Ring 4, which is a 10 all stat bonus with one prayer. Now my Amulet, are not they're not that great, like an Amulet of Strength, Amulet of Accuracy, um, so I may upgrade that soon, as soon as I can craft a, uh, what's it, Amulet of Glory, and then an Amulet of Fury eventually. Um, you can see I have the Lunar Gear, and a Garb of Subjugation, as well as a Hood of Subjugation. Uh, basic Slayer Helm, which is just the Black Mask version. I haven't had either of the other drops, the Hex Crest or the Focus Sight. Um, I have a Crystal Bow, a Black Salamander, uh, only Ava's Attractor, I don't have the, um, the accumulator, the highest tier. I have a chaotic staff here, which I'll use for bossing a lot of the time. Uh, well, at least for now. And then here's my trophies tab, which is just extra drops I have. Got a dragon hatchet currently on the tool belt, and another here. Godsword shard three. Uh, Varax brassard and plate skirt. Torag's plate body. Carol's crossbow. Three warrior rings, and the Abbey Spectre champion scroll. Um, I don't believe there are any other significant uh, items in here. I've taken care of a lot of quests and I have a, a fairly decent total level. Uh, and I, I am Iron Man. I don't know if I've... Uh, I've probably said it, but it's good to point that out. Um, I've got a Bone Crusher here, Split Dragon Tooth Necklace, a Gym Bag, uh, a Tuned Ectoplasmator with like 1400 charges on it right now. Um, once I get to 85 strength, I'll have the Asylum Surgeon's Ring. And I'll point out that I do have one boss pet already, which is Ellie from the Chaos Elemental. So yeah, this is where my account is starting off with this series. Uh, today's goal, since I'm uh, going towards Plague's End, you can see I've got the 75 crafting, the agility, the mining is only is almost there, Herbalore is almost there, I uh, only have the summoning left, and then the prayer, really and then the last, you know, 90,000 Herblor XP, uh, as well as the last four mining levels. So I want to work on the prayer and the summoning today, which means uh, a lot of Water Fiends for Crimsons, and a lot of Frost Dragons for prayer. Going to start off with the Frost Dragons, seeing as I have a decent number of Anti-Fires currently stocked up, as well as a lot of Super Strengths and Super Attacks, since I'll be meleeing them. Uh, and I do have the Vampirism Aura, which will help out quite a bit, as well as the uh, Charming Imp, I'm sure I mentioned already. Um, so yeah, I'll get started on it. Only going to really make clips for significant drops or after I accomplish goals like this, so it's going to be a much shorter series. Plan to upload it weekly on uh, Mondays or Tuesday. So yeah, uh, on to the grind. So, got a clue scroll, three drops in, uh, going to take care of that after this trip. And there's the end of the clue. Got a court summons, which is, yeah, it's my first court summons. So, um, cool, might go do that. I'll hold on to it for, uh, for later, because I got some PVMing to take care of. Yeah. Back on my second trip here at Frost, and I get another clue scroll hard. So, uh... Yeah, I guess that's... I'm gonna do a lot of these during these trips for like a thousand Frost Dragon Bones. Don't know if I can actually accomplish it today because of how long... Well, how long each kill takes. That's, 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 but aside from that, you know, how how long it takes to do a clue scroll entirely. And there's the next clue scroll casket. Uh, some decent alkables, and I think those are my first purple sweets to start uh, piling up. I know a lot of the clue rewards are pretty useless, but I would like to collect them as Iron Man, you know? Just just for fun. And on the end of my, what, third trip? 
I get another clue scroll hard? It's like a 1 in 30 drop here or something. If you want to farm clue scrolls, go to frost dragons. Like, that's really surprising to me. Well, this is one of the uh, few clues I can't do because it needs an amulet of glory. Um, yeah, I've only got 75 crafting, I need 80. And uh, getting a plus 5 temporary boost from stews is not something I'm interested in. And just as I try to throw one away, it drags me back in. Oh, man. Um, I just threw that one out. It's another that I'm not going to do. It's because it needs a split bark helm. And uh, I don't really want to go to do Shades of Morton. I, I never liked that mini game. And uh, doing it enough to get a strip of cloth doesn't sound too fun, so. Well, I tried for a while at Shades of Morton to get fine cloth, but. I just can't do it. I got another, uh, you know, hard clue scroll that needs a split bark helm, so I guess those are just uh, ones that I'm gonna skip for a while. I believe that's the fifth clue drop in however many trips I've done, like eight or nine, something like that. Uh, which is just, that's insane. It's like m maybe 250 uh, kills, so it seems to be about a 1 in 50 for hard clue scrolls on them. And luckily it's not, you know, split bark helm right up, right off the bat, so I don't have to, uh, you know, <laughs> I can actually do this one. Um, so I am up to, yeah, 275 bones. So it'll, it'll, uh, or 276, because there's one still in my inventory. Alright, let's, uh, let's go take care of this clue scroll. Whoa, just did another clue. It was a two-step, and, uh... I don't know, I think I'll keep it. Like a rune two hand, the uh, rune full helm, those are worth quite a bit. Mahogany saves a bit of money. And uh, H2, which is new. Kinda wanna reroll it, but I'll just keep it. Well, so far I'm up to 462 frost dragon bones. I'm going to go uh, blow through those in the wilderness. And uh, we'll continue on after that. And that marks the end of my day of PVM, the first, uh, first episode in this series. I have another 110 Frost Dragon Bones, so I collected, I don't know, 600-something uh, today, and got almost all the way from 75 to 80 attack. Um, I've died, like, two or three times, and I'm just, I'm just really annoyed with the mechanic not being explained well in-game. Like, if you die what happens to your familiars items. Apparently they're supposed to drop on the ground and be there for a minute. I ran back to where my familiar would have been and they aren't there. I don't understand what's going on. It's not explained on the wiki or in game. Just really annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna take it easy and do some other stuff for a little bit. Uh, there's the end of the first episode. Uh, next week's should be a lot more exciting with some bossing or something like that since I'll have Prif open.